There's a bee butt. So I have my friend Heike here. She is from the Oregon State University Agricultural Research Center. In Madras, Oregon. She was my beekeeping mentor for the Oregon State Master Beekeeping Program and she's gone above and beyond and is here today to help me figure out and learn how to condense this crazy colony for winter. Okay, okay. we'll do it. Yeah. <laughs> Adrian has, has eight frame equipment and they're all medium boxes. Yes. So we want, because it's eight frame, we want to have at, at least three boxes, but not more than four. Yes. For the winter. Is this a, a honey super? Is this a honey yes, super? Yes, it's on top of a queen excluder. Okay. I hope it's a honey super. Okay. Not sure how his fat butt got up there, but there we have it. <laughs> Stuck my finger right on the bee. Okay, so let's put it aside. Break it here. Farthest away. Yeah. Oh, actually, it is light. It is. Yeah. Okay. Sure smells good. Yeah. So I think we, we yeah we want to take this one off. Okay. I mean, there's honey and um not much. Not but much. Not much. But not much. Okay. See if we need it down. Okay. Down below. <laughs> So let's let's tip it up first okay. and we'll loosen it. Okay, so there's might be a little bit honey in here. There so should we'll, be, they we'll, seem we'll, honey bound. Yeah, so we'll, we'll we'll take it off. Okay. See if it just has honey in it. Again you can pop it and tip it up, maybe. Oh. Okay. Oh, and we're tipping. Okay. And we can look in between, and it looks. I don't see any brood from here. But we Should can, we pop a couple frames? Yeah. Just to off of here? Don't you? Oh, here's the queen. Oh, really? Wow. Yeah. So we're really lucky to the first frame pull out your queen. <laughs> Oh, there's some more queen cells on the bottom. Right? I would just destroy them. Okay. You know, I mean, it's like uh, these are definitely super seeder cells. Okay. So yeah. there's a couple more on this side. So why are these ones super seeder? Because of the location within the colony. The, the bees, they they, they want a super seeder queen if there's not enough pheromones. So, um, so it's either the queen is not so good anymore. Okay, uh, she had an excellent brood pattern yeah. and lots of eggs last yeah. time. Um, or, I don't know, maybe the colony is just too big. The pheromones don't spread in every corner and they think, you know, they, they have a, a inferior queen. Okay. It's kind of hard to say. Yeah. So, but I mean, at this time of year, it's too late for them to, to raise successful a new queen. Right. So, um, so I discourage it by destroying the cells. Which is and what I also did last time too. And then you might want to re replace her next year. Which is sad. She is a 2019 queen and I caught her in a swarm. So there are eggs on here. Oh, good. Now this box off okay. so we know where she is. Okay. And so the queen is here, Copy. but let's let's go through and remove frames we don't need. Okay. Yeah. So it has you know a few cells of brood, but not much. So he, he, here's brood. Okay. Here's brood ribbon. and okay. So we put the brood together, and if there's like a honey frame on the outside, yeah. it's brood, both here's brood ribbon. and and honey. So this is good. So we'll just put it together. And there's some brood and another cell. So we we'll just destroy the cells. Okay. So uh, this just has pollen and a little bit of nectar. So let's let's put that aside for now. And, and this one has some it has some honey in it. Uh -huh. So we'll leave it. It's like a good for the outside. Okay. This also has some honey and some pollen. 
so we also need it. Okay. So let's basically that's with the same thing. You can do with the with the next one. So this has, I feel like a lot less nectar than I had before. Okay. So I don't know because it was kind of crazy packed. Yeah. So this one, it was the empty one I put on in desperation and it is also very light. It's very really light, okay. Okay, so there, so let's put it on the, another drip tray and we'll just look through and see if there's any brood there or if we can just remove it all together. Okay. It is completely possible that this hive was actually honey bound but they must have eaten through their stores during the two weeks we were under thick smoke. So this is, um, see this one has some little bit nectar and pollen. Yeah, they're packing this thing with so pollen. Let's, let's put that in there. Okay. And also we, we, we put this, this one frame, which is kind of empty, uh -huh. back. You know, okay. for the queen to lay, she needs a little bit more space. These are all um, and can go. just be empty and can be removed. Great. Okay, so we already know we're, we're, we're removing this, this box. Okay, so there's not met, not too many bees. So yeah, let's take it off and we're looking for brood. Yes. So I feel like this is a stark difference from when I thought they were honey bound. Yeah awful when the smoke was here because I really couldn't do anything. Mm -hmm. So before there was cat brood mm -hmm. and there was a ton of eggs. There were so many frames because I put an extra box out of desperation when I thought that they were going to swarm from being honey bound. We really had to take our time picking and choosing which frames to keep and get rid of. So okay so what I suggest is put the, the queen in the bottom you know with just the whole Okay, switch this. Yeah. The next one, we put the feeder in it and whatever honey frames we have and some pollen frames and some empties. Okay. And then, and then we put the, the third one, we put um, honey. honey. You know, if I lift this one up, you can add the one with the queen down, down okay. here. Okay. Yes, please. Sorry, bees. Okay. Then let's prepare this one. Um, let between these two, let's find the, the honey and pollen frames and put it in there. Okay, so I'll keep this in. Yes. Uh huh. Okay. The question is, Adrian, do you want to leave it in three boxes or four? So I don't. I'm not sure what you think is best. It seems like three okay, no. would be a little small for the current size of the colony. Um, it's a medium size. Actually. Oh, okay. Um, They're just now. all over. Yeah. Okay. This one is. Yeah, it's beautiful. Oh, great. And it's uh, that's all rabbit brush. And we do, we might want a few nice frames like in the middle in case the bee, the queen goes up. Okay. Like this one. So what we've been doing is we've been finding frames of brood, which are baby bees, and we're sticking them together in the center of the box. On the outside of those frames, we're using some empty frames of comb to give the queen space to lay if she wishes. And then on the furthest outside of the boxes, we're adding frames that contain honey or nectar and pollen. We're also removing extra frames of comb that are empty that the bees don't need. I'm tempted just to leave it in three boxes. Okay. You know, like, so we have like one empty frame, some pollen and then a little bit honey here and here. Okay. And then uh, and then we'll put that one on top. Okay, I mean if we do in three boxes, you know, 
attract the bees. Well, yeah, you don't want the you know brood too far away from the honey because you want it adjusted to the amount of bees. Mm -hmm. We only saw really like one or two frames with eggs in it. Well, we 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 have basically all the brood is is snow in here. Okay. You know, like. It's so, a lot so like less brood four, than four, before. Four 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 brood frames. Okay. And she might go up um, in there. So that's kind of to put her down and then put the honey on top. Okay. So, um, so we put this one there? Yeah. Okay, just taking the bees in. Yeah. And then we brush the remaining bees off. Now we're just getting all the bees back into the hive by shaking them off the frames and brushing off the remaining bees. Here's the brush. I mean, they're still bringing in nectar um, because there was some shake out, some of the frame. <laughs> that was heavy. Huh? Yeah. So there is, see this? Yeah. Unripe honey. Right. And let's make sure we know where it is. So you might want to use it um, somewhere. Well, I think it's really from it. the number of bees there are. They're just fine in three boxes. Okay. You know? Okay. So y you rather want like a good coverage of all the frames um, than, um, yeah, kind of them in too many boxes. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so we're done with this one. Okay. So I make sure there's not enough bee space, but there's enough for ventilation. <sighs> I'm hot. Yeah. So we went into honeysuckle, which I had assumed was honey bound at the time. I left them alone for almost a month because we were under smoke for two weeks and then I felt overwhelmed not knowing exactly what yeah. I should be looking for. So then today we went in and we saw that they had actually a lot lower honey stores than before and we believe they ate up their stores during the smoke because they couldn't fly or didn't want to. And so what we did it condensed the colony, which is what I really wanted to learn really well today, was to remove frames that were empty mm -hmm. of anything, of honey for yeah. them, yeah. and we gave them two boxes to do their brood thing. And then the, the we did remove kind of one box of honey that had mostly unripe mm -hmm. honey in it. So it wasn't capped, and when you shook it, it kind of dripped out. Yeah. And so we decided that they only needed three boxes for the winter instead of four. So one thing I'm wondering is they seem like they really want to swarm. And we think it's because maybe they had too much space and the smell of the pheromone of the queen wasn't going everywhere. Yeah, so that was not swarm cells what we saw. Those were clearly supersedure cells. Okay, so why were they clearly supersedure cells? Because there are the, the, the base, I mean, the swarm cells and supersedure cells have in common that the base of the queen cell is a cup. You know, not uh, opposed to an emergency cell where the base is the, uh, a worker cell. Oh, okay. Right? Okay, so that's what those both have in common. And we saw them basically and at, the, at the bottom of the frames. They had built a cup where the queen had laid an egg and they, there was lava, uh, lava in there. Lava so and that's, both of them have yeah. th that in common. But then, you know, um, A for swarm cells, it's, you don't, you would not find them this time of year, for one. Okay. And you would find many, many more. Okay. So if you just have a few of those and in the fall, then it's supersedures. Okay, because that was actually more cells more cells or more queen cells yeah um than i found last time oh, okay yeah by far the yeah. last time i found like three yeah and two had larvas one was capped one had larva uh -huh. and the other one didn't have anything that i could see yet yeah so it wanted if you 
ever ch you know check you know tip it up and see if they have more cells okay like whenever you still go in this year and at this time i would just uh, destroy them but if they keep basically if they keep building through procedures uh, my opinion is okay the bees have a reason why they want to replace this queen so basically because it's uh, unless you want to buy a new queen you might not want to do you know this time of year you want kind of force them to keep that queen over the winter and we know but, she's but, kind of okay yeah because yeah. she's laying eggs right. and then actually now where we condensed it you know one thing we did we found her right away which was a good find and we found i think we found some brood in, in two boxes but all condensed the, the brood in one box and put it in the bottom with the queen okay yeah. so and then everything on top but we left like one empty frame in the bottom box and in the second box so the queen did have space to lay if she wanted to play a little bit more and she wouldn't yeah. need uh more space no not not so much not this time of year, because she's slowing down anyway which was then, more apparent now than it was right before the smoke yeah definitely um yes which is yeah. kind of a really stark difference yeah. than before for me so yeah. we decided i need to check a colony named rose and see if there's any honey for me if not uh do the same thing we did today take out frames that are empty and condense the brood right. to the bottom right hopefully with the yeah. queen yeah <laughs> yeah and if you have more than like four brood frames you can put it in the first and second box you know in the middle oh, and okay. with with and um and pollen basically and there could be like some frames with a little space that's fine and then pollen frames and then the, the honey frames on the outside okay and 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 you have to have plenty of pollen you know uh, so why why do you know the answer why did they make so much pollen that is it was seemed like an insane amount to yeah. me well they i mean they want to fill the pantry and if they had the resources and they had enough on foragers they just bring it in thank you so much yeah. Heike, and yeah. thank you for uh being willing to be okay, filmed sure yeah